And now the 22 News Storm Team forecast. Good Monday morning. Time now is 645. And again, the big story is the solar eclipse that will occur this afternoon. It is April 8th, the day we've been talking about for quite a while now. Of course, the moon is going to pass right in front of the sun, casting a shadow on the earth and that path of that totality, that shadow that will make it uh, completely dark this afternoon for some spots is going to be really close to us. So in order to see complete darkness totality, you got to be right in this narrow strip that runs right into northern New England. Besides that, it drops off pretty significantly as far out as the West Coast, only 20 percent of the uh, eclipse you're going to see. But for us here in Western Massachusetts, we're going to be seeing 94 percent of the eclipse this afternoon. So it sounds like a lot and it is. But even at 99%, you still need those solar eclipse glasses at max peak, which is at 327 PM, because the sunlight will still be able to get around the moon's shadow. In order to see complete darkness, you got to be in this very narrow path that'll be right across Burlington, Vermont, St. Johnsbury, Vermont into northern Maine. So it's only a three hour drive to around Burlington and St. Johnsbury if you do want to try to head up north today to be in the path of totality. But if you plan on staying here in Western Massachusetts, 94% and of course, you got to wear the eclipse glasses. If you don't wear the glasses, one, it's not safe, so just don't think about it. And also, you're really not going to notice much if you don't wear the glasses today. It might look like a normal afternoon if you don't have the glasses on. So 2.13 p.m. this afternoon, the eclipse is going to start. The max uh, peak of the eclipse is going to be at 3.27 p.m. when, of course, the moon will pass in front of the sun, giving us 94% view here in western Massachusetts. And the eclipse will end at 4.37 p.m. So it seems like a pretty long time frame, but it's really right around here, 3.27 27 p.m. between 327 330 is that time that if you have those eclipse glasses walk outside look up and you'll be able to see the eclipse without the glasses though one again don't look at the sun and it's also not going to be really much of anything to see if you don't have the glasses so here's some facts for you again the max of the eclipse will be at 327 p.m. at 94 percent wear eclipse glasses again Wherever you are, just wear the glasses if you have them. The next North American eclipse that will pass, the next one is from California to Florida. So the southern half of the of the country will be on August 12th of 2045. So try and enjoy the one today. And the next one that comes over the Northeast will not be until May 1st of 2079. So uh, if you think you'll be around uh, around 2079, you might be able to see it then, but of course, get outside and enjoy the one today because it'll be quite a while until we see the next one here just in the United States. But Westfield right now looking nice and sunny out there to start off the day. Got that breeze out of the north, nice and light. Winds are going to stay calm throughout the morning into the afternoon and temperatures out there in the 20s or 27 in Springfield. 28 is the temperature in Northampton. So going throughout the day, we're going to see a lot of sun into the afternoon. It is sunny out there right now. Don't know why the icon hasn't changed, but We'll stay sunny out there into the afternoon today with those temperatures into the 60s. So mostly sunny skies, few thin clouds. That's the top of the 20th edition storm team forecast focus tomorrow. Sun and cloud mix a high temperature around 70 for Tuesday, looking very nice. And then we got the chance for some rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So enjoy the nice dry weather today and also for tomorrow. ESP live Doppler radar. It is nice and quiet, really not a lot going on across the region. A beautiful sunny start to the day. Nice clear skies out there. Some very thin thin clouds off to our west and there could be some very high thin wispy clouds in the sky this afternoon. Not a big deal, but just want to give you a heads up. You might see some thin clouds out there later today on the 20th of storm team sky cast. So seven o'clock here, not a lot going on nine o'clock, nice and sunny into the afternoon, 12 o'clock. Here's some of those very thin clouds again, not a big deal. The sun can still poke through them 3 p.m. right around the time of the max of the eclipse 327 p.m. You can see some very thin passing clouds and then going into the evening after 6 p.m. The clouds are going to increase and by 10 o'clock tonight it is partly cloudy and we stay with partly cloudy skies going into the day on Tuesday. So 62 to 66, a mostly sunny sky, some passing clouds at times. 
going through tonight will stay partly cloudy. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. And for the rest of the 20 day storm team seven day forecast again, a mix of sun and clouds for the day tomorrow. A high temperature right around 70 degrees. Chance for a few showers Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And then going into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday look quiet in those temperatures in the 50s and 60s. If you want to stay updated latest forecast, you can do so by getting the free 20 day storm team forecast.